The service coordinators themselves come from a variety of, of uh, backgrounds. For the most part, many of them are, have a social work background. Their employment, if you will, their office is housed within an apartment community. And that apartment community, of course, is the house, the home of the residents that live there. Their main job is to empower their residents to maintain their independence or gain financial self-sufficiency to move up and out of poverty as much as possible. So having a service coordinator on site in an affordable or low income subsidized housing community means that people are getting safe and secure housing. The way I explain service coordination to people is that I'm an advocate and I'm also responsible for, for helping the community of my building. As a service coordinator, I feel like I'm the connector. A lot of these community organizations aren't aware of each other. A lot of the people who need them aren't aware of them. So I'm the person who finds the resources, connects people to them, and helps them actually get there and follow through. To me, a service coordinator is someone who is able to provide uh, clients with the resources to um, achieve their goals and um, help them transform their lives. Well, there is no routine day in service coordination, but typically they are proactive. They are proactive social worker types. They will go and meet with their residents and find out what's going on. The whole nature of service coordination is built on trust. We help people realize what they're capable of doing. Um, and when we do service coordination, we're helping people stay housed, get employed, go back to school, figure out how to pay for childcare so they can do all those things. So we're really just helping people be more successful and I think that benefits everybody economically. I would say that service coordination saves taxpayer dollars, especially when we're talking about seniors, because it's been proven that Aging in place and being allowed to age in your own home and independently is cheaper on the taxpayer than nursing home care. Sometimes nursing home care is absolutely necessary, but when it's not, when we can keep somebody in the community and keep them independent, that saves taxpayer dollars. Without service coordinators, some of our residents would really be hurting um, and not just know where to turn having to choose what, what's important in life or what's more important, paying rent or feeding a child or um, sending a child to school or sending him to work, um, things like that. So I think with not having a service coordinator would be very um, detrimental to some of our residents. Having been a social worker myself and actually playing the role of a service coordinator in, in the early days prior to my starting ASK, um, Sure, you know, getting a salary is very important. You've got to make a living, right? But the concept of being actually involved with seeing a problem and analyzing a problem that an individual is having or a family and finding a solution, um, you come home daily with the feeling like, I've done something. I've, uh, you know, I've actually accomplished, you know, helping this family. That happens on a daily basis.